Not from any handheld line whatsoever. E Hello everyone and welcome to a random gameplay of... Let me skip the intro please, it's Mario Kart Double Dash. Probably my favorite Mario Kart game of all the Mario Kart games. I'm gonna start out on the maximum difficulty even though I haven't played in a while because it should be interesting. I'm just gonna run through the Mushroom Cup here and get this started. Luigi Circuit. Oh yeah, fly-by camera angles. It is beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. This takes me back. Hold the accelerator just a fraction of a second before the light turns green. You sure get a rocket start? Oh, I kind of failed. <laughs> I figured I'd be rusty at that. The timing window's kind of small. Anyway, accelerate is the A button. R button is to do power slides. Tap left and right while you're in a power slide to power it up like I'm doing like that. And you can do a little mini power boost, I guess you could say. I forgot what they're called uh, offhand. <laughs> I think they're called mini turbos or something like that. But anyway, let's just play the game and have some fun. Because this game is awesome. For some reason, a lot of people consider this to be the worst Mario Kart game, but I don't know why. I think it has the best controls of all the other Mar of all the uh, Mario Kart games out there in, in my opinion. And because they don't have the little hoppity hop hop uh, when you press the R button to do power slides, that also makes it so that you can't really break uh, tracks like you could in other Mario Kart games. Though, if, while breaking um, while breaking tracks is sort of fun in the time trial mode, it's not really all that conductive to competitive nature. Because <laughs> it's like if one person manages to pull off a major shortcut and other people don't, that one person who pulled off the major shortcut is pretty much going to be the winner. <laughs> oh, and in this Mario Kart game, as you can tell, there's two drivers here, which you can switch between with the Z button, which also switches the items that you're holding as well. Hey, 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 don't bump me. Yeah, there's uh, traffic going in both directions on Luigi's Circuit on uh, uh, difficulties ranging from 100cc and up. And I got one first place with ease. And I haven't even played this game in a while, jeez. <laughs> I was pretty decent at this game, actually. I beat all the staff ghosts and uh, was close to the world record on a couple of uh, tracks in the time trial mode, but I, I probably blew away my scores by the time... I, since the last time I've looked back at the Mario Kart leaderboards, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Anyway, Peach Beach. Oh, yeah. Rhyming name. Vroom vroom, let's see if I can get a rocket start this time... No! Oh, poopers. Oh, that's fine, it's not that vital. I mean, I, it, it's helpful, but it's not game-breaking. I mean, come on, this is Mario Kart here. Aha, I just took a ba bomb And I can throw it behind me and blow people up by holding down while I drop it with the X button. Oh yes, sneaky sneaky moves by Sneaky Sneaky Turtles. I, I have no idea what I'm saying here. <laughs> I'm just having some fun because I haven't played this game in a while. But yeah, definitely pick this up if you can find it. It's one of the best controlling Mario game uh, Mario Kart games out there in my opinion. Uh, there, it, it, It's just very, very responsive in comparison to others and that's what I like about it so much. It does take some getting used to if you've played other Mario Kart games, which is probably the gripe people have with this particular Mario Kart game because it doesn't feel like other particular Mario Kart games. Why did I say particular there again? I don't know, but I would like to grab that mushroom. Uh, whenever you see items like that uh, dropped on the tracks, it's usually when it, they get knocked away from an opponent like via a lightning bolt or something like that, you know, it's one of those things where you, if you see something you should react to it and pick it up if it's good, if not, dodge it like banana peels, not so good to run into. Mushrooms, definitely very good, and wow, I just, just dominating the pack here. <laughs> Woohoo! By the way, that pipe there is, uh, pretty much a waste of time, in case you didn't see that in the background there on the flyby. So that's why I never went through that. There's also a path on the um, uh, left side there on the beach, which is a shortcut, but eh, it's pretty risky to do 
outside of time trials because it's very helpful to have a mushroom for that sort of thing and you can't really plan for how things are going. Anyway, Baby Park, really short stage, but this thing can get really, really frantic. Ah, I lost my timing on how to do a rocket start. <laughs> oh, oh, I have to do, uh, do super special. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, snaking time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of one of those cheapo snaking players in Mario Kart games. Well, I shouldn't say it's it's cheapo because it's within the boundaries of the game, but what I'm saying is that people do consider it cheap and would and probably ah! <laughs> and those people probably would not be too happy playing me. <laughs> I snake all the time in uh, Mario Kart DS as well. That game is like super mega mega snaky because you have characters with low drift and that's that's uh, really open for a lot of oh, I'm turned around. <laughs> a lot of uh, abuse, I guess you could say, of the uh, power slide uh, mini boosts. All right, all right, we are in fifth. This is not good. This is not good at all. So oh yeah, special. By the way, each character has their own special thing. The Koopas here, they can get triple green or red shells, and that's pretty much why I choose them in ye ol' uh, Grand Prix mode, because it's incredibly handy to be able to shoot things like crazy. Dang it, I'm just losing all my places. Get out of my way, out of my way, yeah, that's better. <laughs> Although I just might uh, have lost my first place uh, spot, depending on how this track went. Um, nope. <laughs> Still in first, that's fine, let's keep going. Next course, go, go, go! Mm. Alright, mm. this time I'm gonna get that power, I mean the, the boost at the start. No, I didn't! No, I didn't! Yeah, I guess I forgot the timing of that, but I'm sure it is just before the lights turn green. I remember that much, but there's, there's it, it, on every Mario Kart game it's different. So whenever you get used to that, whenever you get used to playing one Mario Kart game's um, speed boost at the start, it's go it's gonna throw you off on other Mario Kart games. Then quicksand kind of slid into it, but that's okay. Double item box, yeah, that's what I was aiming for. Double item boxes, very handy. I should probably just like switch and then shoot. There we go. Uh -huh. Now I can use those shells to. Oh, I was gonna say guard myself from red shells. But the blue spiny shell, not so much. That one's gonna own you. <laughs> but it's just good times in the world of Mario Kart. Oh jeez, I'm lucky I got ahead of that after it locked on. Because the blue shell, um, what it does is that it, when it gets to a certain a closeness, I guess you could say, a certain range between the one in first place, it then, lo it then locks into it permanently until it blows up. And that's the, um, and you can avoid that by, um, either dropping out of first place before, oh, jeez, before you go into its range and then let someone else get blown up with it, or let someone else in first place get blown up and then overtake the person in, uh, uh, first place. Ah! You can also dodge, um, red shells or blue shells with really well-timed power slide boosts on corners. It's pretty uncommon though so don't count on it happening because the the conditions have to be very right in order for you to do that anyway last lap will i get first place will i take home the cup will i avoid this pokey you will i kind of did but i i, I think i would have preferred to hit the po oh jeez i think i would have preferred to hit the pokey over that wall oh no tornado bad tornado no boosts. Oh, jeez. I got pushed away from it because from the slope. I wanted that mushroom, but I didn't get it. And no, 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 no. Just in time. And that means I take home the gold. I've gotten perfect runs on all the cups in this game, by the way, so it's it's not like I have, I'm, uh, uh, I mean, I, I kind of played it with weak skill because I'm a little bit out of practice is what I'm saying, but uh, I mean that I could do better and whatnot, but that wasn't too bad, especially since I haven't played for a while. Award ceremony! Oh yes, fireworks going off at 
Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, oh the memories of all oh, the evil times I've had here. Yes, I did. I do remember that I played the Peach Peach track, which is based off of uh, Super Mario Sunshine. I didn't mention it at the time because I was talking about other stuff, but yeah, it brought back memories of Sunshine. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had fun with that game, but at the same time, the conditions were there to be frustrating. <laughs> Thank you, game, for congratulating me. And with that, I'm going to end off this random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.